Hello and welcome to another presentation of Garden State IAA Hoops. I'm Joe Lamy, joined by Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger. Tonight, the Newark East Eagles are going up against the North High Dragons. Danny, your thoughts on this one? Well, the big story tonight, Junior is not in the lineup. We don't know what his status is for the entire game, but he was spotted in street clothes. Overall, a huge blow to the Eagles. Here we go. There. Eagles on offense, holding, waiting for something to open up. Oh, and an ugly pass there into the first row. Eagles really struggling out of the gate without Junior. Coach Bishop can't be happy with that effort. Looks like we might be in for a long, long night. And he holds it up top. A beautiful backdoor cut. Oh, and he missed it. Wide open layup there, and he missed it. Dragons now coming back the other way and pushing the pace with the three on one. And they'll get the easy bucket. Things are going from bad to worse quickly here for the Eagles. Controlling traffic and oh, ball knock loose there. And here we go, the Dragons going the other way. Now with the two on one. And he finishes with the silky finger roll in the lane. Oh, Joe, the Dragons are rolling. Without Junior, the Eagles look completely lost. Nothing is working for them right now. So we conclude the first half. It's the Dragons up by 12. Don't move a muscle. We'll be back right after this. All right, fellas. Here's the deal. We're getting blown out right now. We're getting outplayed, outhustled, outworked. All right? Second half, I don't care what happens. I want you to play hard every possession. Ball, rebound, play D every possession. Get some stops. Okay, now we, we can work ourselves back into this. Yeah, you can. We'll play at a time, alright? Sounds good. Can get better? Sounds good. That was hard to watch out there. Get the sec second half over with. This is embarrassing. Let's go. Come on. Hey. Well, with the second half getting underway here, and if you're just joining us, Junior is out tonight. Meanwhile, Cutter down the lane. Oh, and what a rejection! Joe, maybe some sharp words from Coach Bishop have inspired a turnaround here. Good this job. York team might have some fight left. And just as you say that, Danny, the Eagles give it away with another careless turnover. Off the pick and roll and an easy bucket. Joe, is it me or does every possession feel like it's on repeat at this point? Dragons having their way. This can't be easy for Junior to watch from the bench. And he controls it up top. And he's stripped at midcourt again. And now coming down the other way with the scoop to the hoop and the score. At this point, guys, it feels like the Eagles just need to wave the white flag. Regroup for the next one. Hopefully they'll have Junior back in the lineup for the Invitational. And that's the final buzzer. We'd like to thank everyone for watching this presentation of Southern State IAA Basketball. As always, we hope to see you at our next broadcast. Good night, everyone. Hey, you did the right thing out there. It doesn't feel like it. Like the quote in my office says, you can't win unless you learn how to lose. But hey, let's not lose two in a row, right? These invitational teams are lined up with NBA prospects. 
they won't know what hit them. is everywhere. Oh, my man, Jimmy. He even got big layers up there. Evan, Chuck. A couple of heavy hitters from the NBA even getting an early look. Man, this all happening, Junior. How do you feel? I'm good. Focus. <laughs> you look good, too. <laughs> you look stressed, Arch. Well, that's okay, because I'm not playing. Now, look, a win would be ideal, but skills matter. You know, uh, positive possessions, tempo, your demeanor in the warm-ups, your focus on, in, on in huddles. Every player is an investment. They're gonna be trying to get all kinds of intel to make sure you're a good fit. <laughs> Write that down. Bigger than Broadway. The Hendricks Cobb experience is about to light this city up. Hendricks, Hendricks, have you narrowed down on any college selections? Or are you planning on jumping overseas? Hendricks. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I heard we was playing. But I had to come see it with my own eyes. Yeah, good to see you, man. Good to see you back playing. This is where you belong. On the court. That's what's up, man. How's New Orleans, though? Oh, it's good. I'm gonna hit shoot around. All right. See you on the floor? Yep. I know that's your friend and all, but you need to stay focused. You light him up and the world will open up for you. All right, all right. You need to reel it in now. No, I'm serious. Nah, I'm serious too, man. It's just the vein in your neck is bulging right now, man, and I'm worried about you. Ain't no vein in my neck bulging. How, how, how big is it? <laughs> Look, man, I'm just saying you need to worry about your salt intake. That's all. See, now you're pushing it. I done played basketball before. I know what this game is about. I know how to win. As soon as that tip goes up, ain't no friends no more. Don't worry, Arch. I got it. <laughs> no. This room's for players and coaches only. Out. Ah, oh, it's okay. Coach, he's me. I know exactly who he is. Out! Hey, come on now, don't hold back. Tell me how you really this feel. Is this to you? No, it's not. But it's your show, right, Henry? Yeah. What's going on with you after all this? Nothing. Mm. Nothing at all, Coach. Have a great game, Junior. Thanks, Arch. It's all up to you now. Go we'll get him. So as I was telling you, yeah. Hello everyone and welcome to the Barclays Center. We're here for the final game in the Battle of Brooklyn. I'm Joe Lamy. Alongside me are Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger. Great matchup in this one between Louisiana Northeast and Newark East. Sure is, Joe. Both teams have looked impressive lately, but you'd have to be a fool to think this isn't Louisiana Northeast to lose. They're led by top recruit Hendricks Cobb. This team is tops in the country. The depth and talent of the Civic Cats will be hard to match, but the Northeast Eagles are no slouches, and they played with heart all season long. They also have a surprise star in Junior that can provide... Matchup issues for the City Cats. Either way, we'll be in for a treat as the top talent in high school hoops hits the floor. The scouts will be tuned in for this one as the Battle of Brooklyn is on its way. We see the Eagles starting with Day and Junior, the talent and backcourt pair. On the wing, you have Lack, Zadirico and Marseda make up the post pair to round out the starting five. For the Cats, the star tandem in the backcourt with Cobb at the one and Davidson at the two. Splitter fills in at the small forward position with a high-flying Teddy Edwards at the power forward spot with Mushi Fresh routing it out and starting at center. And fortunately for the Eagles, they'll be at full strength for this matchup. No injuries mentioned on the game notes. 
and there was a worry that Junior would still have a lingering issue with his knee. But the team decided to rest him an ample amount of time to recover, and by all the reports we've heard, he's 100% and ready to go. Hendricks comp. Oh, oh, that is special. The dunk contest came early. Wow. Cobb really gave the Civic Cat someone to get excited about there. A dominant and acrobatic slam. Jonathan Lack on the wing. Mirko outside. Sheffield. Shoot. And a little left that time, but it drops. The quick trigger on Junior tells you what kind of confidence he has. Not afraid to let it fly at any time. And the Civic has another three. Big mistake. Obviously a defensive lapse there, as he is automatic from deep if you leave him wide open. And with Cobb playing back in Brooklyn, a bit of a homecoming for him, guys. Yeah, definitely. He spent his early years playing in Newark, right down the road from this facility, actually. And at age 12, his parents moved to Louisiana, and that's really where his basketball career took off. Here's Cobb. Goes back up. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw contact, and he'll shoot two. Smart move by Edwards to play into the defender and get his shot off. The senior star knows better than the back now. Shooting on the city cats, Teddy Edwards. First free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. With his size and strength, I think Edwards is going to have a lot of success in the college game. He's physical enough, and his skill set is developing quickly. On the wing, Christian Sheffield, covered by Splitter. Pass to Lack. Here's Junior. The tray. Marceda controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. The Eagles need this from Marseille at center. Fighting hard to win boards and finish the play strong. And for the Eagles, they're technically the away team in this game, even though it's being played right in their backyard. And you have to admire the effort the Eagles have shown all tournament long, too. They knew they'd have the crowd support most of the way, and they've earned it with their play. And here in the first, we're about three minutes in. Defended by Lax. Back to Splitter. High post, Hendrick Cobb. There's the triple. And the Civic Cats miss again. He fired with confidence from deep. Eh, just couldn't get it to go. Yeah, but you love that shooter's attitude. Shoot it when he can. They're really on to something. Running plays in the paint, finding a lot of success. When something works for you four out of five times, keep at it. The Eagles making a switch here. And a free throw, no good. It's funny to think that not too long ago, Junior wasn't even thinking about basketball. He was focused on football. It's obvious now that he made a good call to switch to hoops. And it's the Eagles with the ball. The three ball! The rebound by Mushi Fresh. Davidson with it, Marseda covering. Pass to Timmerman, fresh. Here's Edwards, counting. Well, you look at the talent on this Louisiana Northeast team, easy to see why they're the top team in the nation. It goes beyond the stars like Cobb at the top. They have great depth and multiple students that will be getting offers from powerhouse schools. Credit the program they built down there, as this is a premier high school basketball team. Now here's Junior. He has six. Now here's Timmerman. There's Wang with the three. Not gonna go that time. There's no such thing as guaranteed buckets, even with a perfect three-point look. Here's Day. And the layup's good off the glass. They are pounding the ball inside the paint right now. Oh, absolutely, and successfully at it. They've only missed one of their last six shots in the paint. Keep at it until someone stops you. Outside, Davidson. Back to 
Back to Wang. Let's the three fly. It's held in by KJ Day. Pass to Marceda. And here is Junior. He's covered by Edwards. And here's Junior outside. Fort Dawkins is on fire in a tie game. And the second coming up right after this. Welcome back as we get the second quarter going in the Battle of Brooklyn. And the first half of play here, and what's been a good one? Eagles out in front, they lead by one. And we send it to halftime now, back with the third quarter right after this. In the second half of the Battle of Brooklyn starting up here. Great game so far between two fantastic high school squads. And here are the Civet Cats now. And without a doubt, Hendricks Cobb, the number one recruit in the nation. We're seeing him tonight. A lot of eyes will be on him during this contest. And Dave Zajirico with the block. That's out of bounds. Louisiana will retain possession. For the lead. And it's finished off by Edwards as he lays it in. Second chance bucket from Edwards. It's a real display of his athleticism. Secures the rebound and goes right back up for his shot. And that one's good for Junior. And with Cobb, the number one prospect from this class, without a doubt, he's still undecided on where he's going to school, guys. Yeah, and it's not from a lack of offers. Many major schools have reached out to him already. Cobb knows, though, he has all the power and will make his decision when he's good and ready. Cobb gets the bucket. Confident looking triple there. Cobb knows. Scouts covet guys like this. They can sink that three ball. Sheffield outside. Marceda. Junior. Guarded by Cobb. Pass to Marceda. Now Sheffield. Back to Marceda. Black. And the shot goes down. And a look at the Civic Cats bench. It's not the most talented, but the group is well seasoned. A lot of seniors who have seen everything this program has thrown their way. Cobb with it. Eleven feet out. Junior with the block. On defense, Junior can get very tenacious. Here he manages to completely shut the shooter down with a big block. Eagles making a change here. Over here, over here. The Eagles trailing. And thinking about Pacific Cats bench, guys like Sapita, Timmerman, and Wang, not very talented with their experience. I agree. Certainly they're the last guys you expect to do any real damage out on the floor, but they're really not known for their school. But that leadership, that experience they provide, that's a huge the bottom. Outside call. Uses the glass to finish the layup. After being a little more free-flowing in that first half, they're starting to go away from the three here in the second. Haven't had as many attempts. Sheffield covered by Splitter. Sheffield right side. Back to Junior. No good from outside. Watching the way Cobb gets things done on the floor is exemplary. It's easy to see why he's such a highly regarded recruit. Everything comes so easy for him. Just raw, natural ability combined with a great sense of the moment. There's a sense that he'll be an impact player beyond the college level someday already. Sheffield outside to the paint. Here's Junior. Rebounded by the Cats. Swings it to Splitter. And he's way off. 
off from outside. Well, this isn't the performance you usually expect from him, but the rest of the team has done well to offset that. Black is looking ferocious, rising up and jamming it home. This is as high percentage as it gets. Outside Cobb. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Junior grabs the miss. Hasn't been the most efficient score this quarter, but a few makes in a row can change that. Tries to break his ice. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for the three-point play. And it looks when Junior steps up in these moments. He welcomes the chance to deliver for them. And it's tied up with that one. Here's Cobb. For the Cats, this is more than just a road game for us. These young men are dealing with the first taste of play after traveling across the country. Yeah, that should be a big advantage for the Eagles, Joe. They'll want to do whatever they can, keep their foot on the gas pedal, and keep the tempo of this game up. Hopefully, that should even out the talent advantage the Pacific Cats have on paper. It's understandable why the Cats give Cobb the ball in these spots. They trust him to drain big-time points. Marceda, defended by Fresh. Pass to Marceda. Sheffield. Now here's Lack. Back to Marceda. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. At six foot six, Marceda knows he has the size to score inside, which is what makes defenders foul. Makes the first. Good on both attempts. Third minute of action, gone by in the fourth. Well, most thought that Pacific Cats would run away with this one, but this is very much a fun. Absolutely, Joe. The Eagles have shown a lot of heart the way they stuck with Pacific Cats. They might not have the depth or the talent at the top, but this is a team that is firing on all cylinders and fighting for every chance. Has to lack. Zadirko outside. Junior. The Eagles with yet another miss. Here's Cobb. Money from the wing. He's such a clutch shooter. He just lives for the big shot. We've played just over three and a half minutes now into this fourth quarter. The Civic Cats leading. And he slams it down. And he takes it up and lays it in. This has been a showcase for Hendricks tonight. He knows a lot of eyes are on him around the country, and he's making it crystal clear just how talented he is. Pass to Zadirko. Sheffield. Junior with it. This one for three. Good. And that shot brings him within one. High IQ basketball from Sheffield. He gets himself an easy assist by feeding the wide open ball. Here's Cobb. Foul called that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. It's going to be on Junior. Guys, here's a look at Teddy Edwards, another fantastic player who is highly recruited on the Civic Cats team. Edwards has the raw power and strength to finish inside against just about anyone. He moves very well for his size and is a natural finisher at the rim. He's definitely going to make some college people extremely happy in short time. Cobb has a lot of big-time college recruiters coming out to see him these days. He's as hot a prospect as there is in the country, and for good reason. And so they foul intentionally. He gets the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a five-point game. Two possession game now. Some very important free throws right there.
Get the perimeter. Here's Sheffield. Oh, no. No, and here's Junior outside. Sinks it. And he's brought him within two points. Wow, that was a bomb. But Junior feels confident in his ability to drain the long ball. And as expected, they use a foul to stop the clock. Time can be an enemy just as much as the score at this point. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. I'm out called by the Eagles. What's your thoughts here, guys? Well, the challenge here isn't just scoring. It's doing it quick. That's part one. Part two is to go for the steal, then foul immediately if you can't come up with it. Junior outside. The three. Teddy Edwards grabs the board and he commits the intentional foul. Good on the first, and that puts him up by five. And so he drops both of them, and it's a six-point game. And that is how he close the game out. Those free throws were very for sure. to Marseda, and here is Junior. Knocks down the three. Confident three-point bucket from Junior. You can tell he's putting in time at the arc in practice. And now we've got the intentional foul. He hits the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he goes 2-2 two two at the line. And it's a five-point game. I'm out called by the Eagles. What do you think here, guys? Possibly forestalling the inevitable? Yeah, let this clock roll. People have places to be. And here's Junior outside. On target from long range. Gets it going. He keeps his foot on the gas pedal. How about admitting that I'm better than you? Now that would be a good start. <laughs> I'm not going that far. <laughs> hey, you got me this time. Hey, listen, man. You showed some to these scouts tonight. I know it. There will be others. Well, celebrate with your teammates, man. You deserve it. Whoa, whoa. Celebrate? We a travel team, baby. We don't celebrate. It's just on to Cleveland. <laughs>
Hey, hey what's up, coach? What's up, bro? <laughs> How's it? Good, man, good. Listen, I know you got to meet with your man Arch and all, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he got some big news for me, so I'm excited to get after it. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to talk to you about. All right, listen, coach. I know where you're headed with this, okay? I got it handled. See right there, when someone says they got it handled, that's when I know they got a blind spot. And if I'm looking to take advantage, that's music to my ears. Man, I've been taking care of myself for a long time. <laughs> coach, I know all the hustles. I know your man Archie is going to have some pro options lined up for you. But I strongly advise you to go to college. The atmosphere, tradition, coaching cannot be matched. Now, none of it's easy. College is a microscope. A few bad games will get magnified and hurt your draft stock. Negative press snowballs in college. Yeah, but positive press snowballs too. Exactly. Keep it positive. The money will come. Just keep your eyes open. Yeah. I will. So you're saying in the G League, have a line of weeds, develop my game, and get paid now? Exactly. Get a few endorsements, boost that paycheck, and you get the NBA development staff, so when you level up to the league, you'll already know the structure of the pro game. Now the flip side of that is, there's grown men in the G League, lifers, looking for a 10-day contract by any means necessary. Yeah, which means I might have a target on my back. Man, show this kid up, punch a ticket to the league. Yeah, that cuts both ways. You show them up, you look even more ready for the league. I mean, it's not a bad place to be in. You get to work on your draft stock without any immediate pressure. And then, you know, eventually, you go to the Winter Showcase, where you can show off for the scouts and then hit the draft. You'll be around? I'll be here and there as your acting manager. All right. What about if I go to college? I mean, look, you go to the G League, you get injured, you got a contract. You go to college, get injured, there's no contract. So, G League or college? The choice is yours, Junior. Thanks, Arch. I feel like college would make sense for me right now. Okay, I'm a big boy, I can handle it. <laughs> this is what I said I would help you with anyway, right? Yeah. You did the work, so now we're here. All right, so what happens with us now? First, I get you on the phone with Coach, because I know he's going to be thrilled. If you think you're ready to declare for the draft, just hit me up. You're moving into a bigger world now, kid. You think you're ready for it? Ah, uh, no doubt. Let's go get it. Light on 